developments that could alter this election only six days away. Sources tonight telling Fox News and our own Brett Baer that the FBI is aggressively pursuing allegations of pay to play at the Clinton Foundation. Now, the agents are saying this is, quote, an avalanche of new evidence. Joining us now with reaction from the Trump Organization, Donald Trump's son, Eric Trump. Uh, you've got to be concerned about one thing, and that is we are now 90 minutes away from only being five days away from this important election. I know the polls have all tightened even before this story broke. How do you feel about the developments tonight? Well, listen, Sean, I'm concerned about this country. Honestly, it's not even the election. I'm concerned about this country. I mean, the fact that we have a presidential candidate who could be under indictment while in the White House is unthinkable. I mean, we have so many problems. You and I talk about this all the time. We have so many problems as a nation, the last thing that we need is this distraction. We need to get this country back to work. We need to take care of the military. We need to take care of our vets. You know, we need to take care of our educational system. Obamacare is failing. And to think that, you know, and so many other problems, quite frankly, but to think that a presidential candidate could be under indictment, under investigation, and have to deal with this problem for years on end. I mean, this thing has well, tentacles even, all it's over even the world. Worse this, than is, that. this is serious stuff. You know, the, the, we know the Loretta Lynch and, and the Department of Justice, they yeah. didn't want the FBI to do this. This was rank and file FBI guys finally taking oh, a no stand. Question. And here's the other part. And we've got John Podesta, you know, literally the, the ethics of Podesta yeah. and this guy Kadzik who works there yeah. and the tip off, the collusion between the Clinton Absolutely. campaign and the DNC, the Clinton campaign and the Justice Department, yeah. the Clinton campaign and the State Department, all captured by WikiLeaks and the Obama yeah. White House because, oh, we got to clean up his mess when he lied about not knowing about Hillary's private server that he emailed her on. You can't make yeah, listen, this up. There's this no question about it. You can't write a novel like this. Hey, Sean, I'm not a fan of people stealing emails, right? I'm just not a fan of people stealing emails. But the one thing I'll say, the one good thing that came out of WikiLeaks is it shows how corrupt these people truly are and how corrupt our government truly is. And it's incredibly sad. I'm a civilian. You're a civilian. My father's always been a civilian. He's never been government. You see these games going on. You see Donna Brazil giving Hillary Clinton the debate questions. You see these people behind the scenes making fun of Christians and evangelicals. I mean, you see what's happening there. You see the president emailing back and forth on a, you know, on a private server to Hillary and the cover ups and the fact that, hey, we have to purge all these emails and we have to do it right now, despite the fact that Congress told them not to delete any emails. I mean, you really see the corruption of the Clinton Listen, campaign WikiLeaks front and did center. Two things, and so I would argue, number one, it showed we have no cybersecurity as a nation, none. They did us a favor if we'd fix it, because now we can fix it because we know sure. it's, it's so compromised. Two, you're right, it shows sure. the level of corruption. Here's the other thing. If there's, if we're not, Brett Baer's report, 99% yeah. chance five foreign intelligence agencies uh, accessed her, her server and probably wiped it clean? Wow. But Sean, that's why you don't have a private email server. I mean, everybody has a Gmail spam account, right? We all use Gmail for spam or AOL for spam. That, that's why you don't have a private AOL or Gmail server, right? I mean, that's why you use government servers. And quite frankly, cybersecurity for everybody in the real world is something that plagues every single major company. You see them hit Home Depot. You see them hit Target. The first time the president ever talks about cybersecurity right, is when the this. DNC is hacked. Let me and ask I find this. that deplorable. All right. So your father has been making a very strong comeback. Um, I mean, the, uh, the ABC yeah. Washington Post poll is one example. The IDB poll is another. Yeah. He had the L.A. Times poll plus six today, which LA was Times. a high number. Sure. But he's got to win the states. He's got to get the electoral votes for your dad to win. He's got to hold every state that Romney won, and he's got to get Iowa, yeah. and he's got to get Ohio, and he's got to get Florida, and he's got to hold North Carolina, and Nevada, sure. and Arizona. Now, think about this. And then sure. he's also got to get sure. e Congressional District Number 2 in Maine and New Hampshire. By the way, there's a poll I hear tomorrow that might show your dad up by one in New Hampshire, just a rumor. Yeah. And number two, it's actually not, uh, <laughs> and number two... He's got to either get that, Pennsylvania, Minnesota, Michigan, Wisconsin. I mean, it's a tough yeah. road to hoe for any Republican. Yeah. Well, well, Sean, I'm all over the place. I was in Ohio all day today. I did 12 stops in Ohio, and I can tell you the love is incredible. I'm actually in Minneapolis right now, but I'm going to be in Wisconsin all day tomorrow. 
And no, right. I mean, just everywhere we go, I mean, the, the, the turnout is incredible, and we're going to do it. There's no question. People are sick of this nonsense. People are sick of the corruption. People want our